What's going on YouTube? Legend here once again. This time as we're getting some more Honkai Star Rail. And we're here to talk about Robin, guys. Because I do believe that Hoyoverse is going to be releasing some of that good old content creator server content. And, you know, obviously I'm not in it. But that does give me the green light to be able to talk about this character and her totality. So yeah, so no holes barred here. We can talk about everything because it's all official now, okay? So the one thing I really want to talk about when it comes to Robin 2 is I want to compare her. I want to compare her to Ron May. Why? Because people are going to be thinking that. People are going to be thinking, well, who knows when Ron May is coming? We don't know when her rerun's coming, but maybe it should be coming soon, you know? I actually don't know when she's coming. But people are thinking, yeah, maybe she might be coming soon. So should I wait for Ron May or should I go ahead and grab Robin? Well, let's try and answer that question here because they both bring a lot to the table and it is not, it is not like, I know Ron May is the cream, cream of the crop, the best harmony unit we got. Everybody loves her, so on and so forth. But I'm telling you right now, she is not blowing Robin out the water. I'm telling you right now, there's going to be situations where Robin wins out. So let's talk about it, right? Let's first talk about what Robin actually does, you know, so you guys have a clear understanding. So we're on the same page. Robin, like Ron May, does give a damage bonus to the team. The damage bonus isn't as big as Ron May's, but it is a sizable damage bonus, right? I believe it's about 50%, while Ron May is about 66%. Let's take a look. Let's let's make sure with Ron May here. Ah, so I was mistaken, it was 68%. So 68% is what Ron May can, can when she's maxed out, is what she can buff your damage by if you have enough break damage, right? Or break effect. So, and she does, gives more damage bonus than Robin, but Robin doesn't do just that, you know? And of course, Ron May doesn't do just that either. But we're talking about Robin now. So, Robin also gives attack, and a lot of it. She gives a good amount of attack to the team, right? Based on her attack. And she also gives a crit damage bonus to the team. And if you're dealing follow-up attack damage, well, she's giving even more crit damage to the team, right? Or to those follow-up attacks, I should say. Which is gonna be great. Meaning that there's going to be situations where, honestly, whether it's E0 Ron May versus an E0 Robin, those follow-up attack, follow attack teams are gonna be doing more damage, okay? That's just that's just what it is. So because they just they just have more to work with. And not only that, also Robin is also going to be doing her own damage on top of that. Because that is one of Robin's biggest gimmicks is the fact that she also deals damage. And it's not a little bit of damage. I'm telling you right now, it's not a little bit of damage. When you start using her, you might think, "Oh, this is that much." If she's dealing that damage every single action, that your allies take that adds up that adds up quite a bit to the point where she's doing a good amount of damage she's adding a lot of damage to the team and it is beautiful it is, it is a beautiful sight and of course i mean that does make her build a little simpler too because you want to start putting some offensive stats on her and such and you know when it comes to building her maybe we'll go into that in a different time but i will say when it comes to Robin, you are focusing on her main stats, right? You're focused on making sure she has enough attack main stats on her, whereas Robin, you're focused on you have enough break effect um, and speed stats on her in her sub stats. It is a little bit easier to build Robin, I would say. And that's, of course, my opinion there. So Robin does bring a lot to the table in that sense. But Robin's biggest weapon, her biggest weapon from what I see, is the fact that she advances characters, the entire team 100%. This is gigantic. Whenever she uses her burst, she does this. Something like this is so good because this is going to save cycles for people. This is going to be the difference between people being able to zero cycle. This is going to be the difference between people being able to get that minimum cycle that if they're stuck that low, you know, this is going to be a game changer. Especially if you're do, using a follow-up attack team, allowing them all to go again to get another round of follow-up attacks going. This is big. This is going to be, so that's, that's why these characters that 
go a lot. Even character like Celia that goes a lot. These characters are going to love Robin. They're going to love Robin more than they're going to love Ron May. It is what it is. That's how it is, you know? So in those situations, I do think Robin beats her out. But overall, in terms of the overall uh, value that each character brings to the average account, I do think Ron May is still going to win out more of those battles. Why is that? Well, because Ron May also brings a lot to the table, right? And I think she might just have just one or two more advantages more than Robin does in terms of overall team building, right? Because without a doubt, when it comes to characters that constantly go attack again and again, or like follow up attack teams and such, Rob Robin is going to be better for those characters. But in most other situations, Ron Way wins. Why? Well, because Ron May, one of her biggest things is that she increased your weakness break efficiency. So now you're breaking, because as you guys know, I mean, what, what, I'm not going to spend too much time explaining what Ron May does, but you're breaking shields faster with her, right? And not only is she breaking shields faster, she also does a little bit, she doesn't do as much damage as Robin, but she also does her own personal damage when you do break the shield, of course, right? And then she extends that shield break, giving you some sustainability, allowing the enemy to take more damage. So she helps you break the enemies down faster, and when they're broken down, she helps them stay broken, so they can take even more damage, which is which is which is a phenomenal thing. It's very it's a very great feature to have. And then on top of that, to add to the damage that she does, that to the damage bonus that she does, she also gives the team res penetration during her ultimate, which is awesome. That res penetration is as many of you guys know, is huge. It adds a lot of damage, allows the team to do a lot of damage no matter what. And as I said before, she's adding more damage bonus to the team than Robin does. And then also too, one thing that I don't know a lot of people are gonna be talking about is that Robin, when she's using her burst, she her turn isn't, you're not getting her turn anymore, right? She's basically, she's doing her own thing. She's singing a heart out. She's doing the damn thing, right? Which is lovely. You know, the song's gonna be great. But the fact of the matter is when she's doing that, she's not generating skill points for you. Whereas Ron May is still on the field and she is generating skill points left and right, which is great, you know? She's an SP positive unit. And Robin also is essentially SP positive, but she's going much less. She's going much less than someone like Robin is going to because she's not generating no skill points for you, which can be a negative. But I mean, if you're dealing with a lot of follow-up teams, like like if you have Topaz, Topaz need to use skill points that much. If you're using other teams where the cards have used use skill points that much, it doesn't make much of a difference in those situations. So it's kind of good to pay attention to what teams you're using and how tight they are with those skill points. And if taking away a skill point generator is going to break you, then you might want to pay attention to that. But for the most part, for a follow-up attack team, that is not an issue, but you know, keep that in mind. And so when it comes to that, I just think that a lot of the things that they bring to the table kind of equal out a bit. But the fact of the matter is, Ron May giving that extra sustainability and their weakness break efficiency being so universal, doesn't matter what team. Because let's be real here, guys. When it comes to this, all the niches that they're coming with when it comes to this game, like we can see, like all of these characters, they're fitting into specific niches. And I mentioned this in a previous video I talked about when they're, you know, they're making the follow-up attack teams, they're making the dot teams, they're making the traditional hyper carry teams and, and all kinds of different things. And each character fits into each niche, right? Whereas Robin is going to fit in the follow-up attack teams and Ron May is a break support, right? For break teams. I do feel this is going to be more solidified when we start getting more specialized harmony units for each niche. Where because Robin seems more universal, but she is going to be a break support. But until we get those other supports that fit in those niches, Ron May does have more of a blanket over everything. Because follow up attack teams, they do like the weakness broken stuff, right? They still do like that. And when it comes to those hyper carry comps, they do like that weakness broken um, efficiency being increased too. They do like those damage bonuses. They do like that res penetration. They do like all the things that she does do. And I'm saying that they, other characters don't like what Robin has to bring to the table, 
just when it comes to that extra sustainability, it's just, it's just a cherry on top right there. I say that they are pretty equal. I say when it comes to Robin versus Ron May, it is just as close as Ron May versus Sparkle. I think they are all S plus tier amplifier units. If this, the Pride Win list comes and I don't see Robin in S plus tier, I don't know what to tell y'all. She's up there. She does, the, she does the damn thing. So in terms of, I mean, I'll probably touch on this maybe at a, at a, at a later time, but I'm going to say it right now. In terms of if you should get Ron May or Robin, I think you should have both, <laughs> to be honest with you. Not everybody can get both, but you know, I just want to put that out there. If you do not have both Sparkle and Ron May, I think you should be going for Robin. I do think so. Um, I do want, I do think you should have at least two of those three characters, whether it's Ron May and Sparkle, Robin and Ron May, uh, Sparkle and Robin, any of the two, any combination of the two. If you have the, if you have two of those, then I think your count is looking pretty good. But in terms of the verses here, I do think Ron May takes the cake, but not by a lot. And if you are trying to do follow-up teams, follow-up attack teams, then without a doubt, Robin wins in my in my opinion right there. So let me know what you guys are deciding to do, because I definitely. I, I'm definitely picking up Robin. I'm definitely picking her up. I think that she's going to feel great on my follow-up attack teams. I think she's going to feel great on teams where I'm attacking a lot. You know, I'm going to try and give her a shot and see how she does on the dot teams. I'm going to give her a shot and see how she does with Sealy. You know, I'm going to give her all kinds of, give, see how universal she is because I do think she is going to be universal. Yeah, see how it goes. But I, I, without a doubt, I do think she's going to be a top pick. So let me know what you guys think. Comment your thoughts down below. Which way are you guys going? Are you going for Ron May? You going for Robin? Um, you, you're skipping for, for Boot Hill. What, what are you doing? Comment your thoughts down below. Uh, like the video if you like the content. And of course, subscribe to the channel so you get more content like this. Glad to hear. Legend out.